Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I'm going to be talking about nitric oxide. Now what is nitric oxide and why do you want to boost your levels of nitric oxide in your body? Nitric oxide is a molecule composed of one part nitrogen and one part oxygen. So it's basically just nitrogen and oxygen. Nitric oxide is uh, basically a, a gas and uh, when it's in your body it helps to improve circulation, helps to uh, dilate the veins, your veins, your arteries, and uh, your lymphatic uh, system. So basically uh, nitric oxide helps to widen the pathways of the veins and arteries. And this is very important because as you age, as, as uh, uh, you're stressed and as certain things happen in life, uh, oxidative stress and things like this, uh, your veins and uh, uh, arteries become uh, blood clots can occur and just constricted blood flow and circulation. So nitric oxide really helps to uh, uh, open the pathways in your veins and arteries so that uh, circulation and your blood can reach different areas of areas of the body that uh, need that your your blood needs to reach. So for example, uh, reaching your toes, reaching the tip of your nose, reaching your fingertips. Uh, even uh, areas in your brain uh, that are uh, difficult to reach. So it's very important for the health of your brain and your memory. Uh, by boosting your nitric oxide, you help uh, your memory, you help your learning ability, you help your mental cognitive function. It is great for your heart because it widens the arteries and it allows for more, more blood flow to your heart and uh, re reducing uh, the, the chances of, of blood clots and, and uh, constricted uh, uh, blood vessels and things like that. And uh, it's also good for, uh, for men, it's, it's great for your prostate for having an erection. Actually, Viagra is basically, uh, it basically is, works off nitric oxide. So it basically enhances, uh, it uses nitric oxide for um, erections. So uh, for your brain health, for your heart health, for uh, erection health, uh, for, for whatever, I mean, really anything, your whole body uh, uses nitric oxide and it's very beneficial. Also, when it comes to wound healing, if you have, if you've been, if you have bruises or wounds or scars, for example, scar tissue from, from uh, whatever, anything, uh, nitric oxide is what your body needs in order to reach those areas of the body in order for the, the blood and the nutrition, the nutrients in the blood to uh, heal those scars. So, uh, it's very, very beneficial. It's something that is not talked about a lot and it's something that I think the health world kind of needs to wake up to and understand the importance of it. So uh, it, the other thing it does actually too is it helps increase the uh, flow of nutrients as well. So as it's opening the blood vessels and widening, widening the blood vessels, uh, it basically allows for more nutrient flow into different areas of your whole body. It also uh, helps with angiogenesis, which uh, helps uh, basically uh, keep the cells healthy and, and, and the blood healthy. Um, is a variety, there's a huge variety of benefits to it, and it's, uh, it's, oh, it's also great for uh, healing and repairing uh, torn uh, muscle, ligament, tissue. Any, any pain, uh, the nervous system, it's great for the nervous system. So if you have uh, a nervous, if your nervous system isn't as healthy or strong as it could be, it's great for the nervous system. Uh, when when uh, you see older people who are kind of walking really slow and they're kind of, they aren't too aware of their body, uh, that's something called neuropathy, and, uh, or excuse me, neuropathy. Neuropathy, I don't know what I'm saying there. Uh, neuropathy is basically when the nerves are damaged to a point where you don't have that kind of awareness in your nerves. So uh, when you have, uh, your, your nervous system is healthy, you can use your nerves and your whole nervous system throughout your whole body to walk, to run, to sprint, to climb, to jump, to just like move like this and like be aware of your whole body. So the nervous system is uh, healing and keeping the nervous system healthy and strong is, is based upon uh, nitric oxide levels in the body. Uh, boy, what else? Uh, blood sugar, or excuse me, not blood sugar levels, but uh, diabetics have uh, low, very low levels of nitric oxide in the body. So if you have high blood pressure or you're a pre-diabetic or a diabetic, uh, anything to do with a blood health issue, your, your levels of nitric oxide are probably low. So it's very, very important for the health of the body. It's very important for uh, staying strong, staying uh, healthy, and it, it just keeps the flow of, of, the, uh, of your blood and, and the nutrients to every area of your body healthy and, and beneficial. So, so how do we boost nitric oxide levels? That's the question. So the main things you can do to boost your nitric oxide levels 
are to eat first and foremost green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables are rich in nitric oxide, so getting uh, kale, arugula, uh, spinach, um, just green, leafy greens. Get a lot of leafy greens in your diet. Uh, other sources of nitric oxide are uh, dark chocolate, actually. So some cacao, um, pomegranate is a great source of nitric oxide, and also uh, uh, cayenne pepper as well. So those are some great ways, just including these in your diet, can help boost nitric oxide and keep your, your blood flow, your circulation uh, strong and beneficial. And also, uh, the, another way to kind of optimize and enhance this at another level would be to, after you eat any of those foods, green leafy vegetables, dark chocolate, pomegranate, uh, cayenne, uh, is to get sunshine because recent studies have shown that sunshine actually helps to basically uh, release nitric oxide. So this, the UV rays hit the skin and that releases nitric oxide so that the nitric oxide that your body is kind of storing through, uh, through you know, food in your diet, it helps to release that and it helps basically uh, express that nitric oxide. So it helps bring it out of the food, if you will. So uh, eating those foods are great. Green leafy vegetables, dark chocolate, pomegranate, cayenne pepper. Those are great. Have those in your diet. But then after you eat those, go outside, go for a walk in the sun and just get some sunshine for the day. And that nitric oxide will be released in your body from the from those from those foods. So uh, it's easy to get nitric oxide in your diet. Just eat those foods and get some sunshine. And if you keep including those foods in your diet and getting lots of sunshine, your circulatory system uh, will be healthy, your blood will be healthier, uh, and the nutrients that you do have in your diet will be optimized to reach uh, areas of your body that are more difficult to reach, and you'll be healthier, more aware, more alert, more awake, and be able to move uh, and be healthier and feel just feel better overall uh, much longer and on a day-to-day -day basis, which everyone wants. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this gives you some ideas and advice for how to boost nitric oxide. Uh, please like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.